The overall goal of the following experiment is to facilitate effective cryoballoon occlusion, which will then result in pulmonary vein isolation and return to normal sinus rhythm. This is accomplished by first finding the fossa ovalis, or FO, location. Next, the location low and anterior to the FO is identified. Then, transeptal needle entry is performed. Finally, heparin is injected and activated clotting time is checked. Ultimately, fluoroscopy and intracardiac echocardiography, or ICE, are used to show the location of transeptal entry, and balloon occlusion is used as a measure of success. So this is a methodology to describe in detail how we do cryoballoon ablation with intention to have a more anterior and inferior transeptal puncture site. The idea is that you with this site, it will have a better mechanical advantage to perform the pulmonary vein isolation, which is critical in curing atrial fibrillation. And this will also leave a less likelihood of iatrogenic atrial septal defect. On the day of the atrial fibrillation, or AF ablation procedure, assess the left atrium, or LA, for thrombus presence or formation. If a thrombus is absent, use general anesthesia to sedate the patient or agents to establish conscious sedation. Do not use a paralytic agent so that...